Hey, good morning. What's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing today? Today I'm doing pretty good. The weather's beautiful and I'm feeling okay. But I want to talk to you guys about something that's been kind of on my mind. I would more or less like to explain something to you, okay? I want to explain my, my point of view on things. For example, can you ask Santa Claus to reveal himself to you? Yes, you can ask it. Will he do it? Of course not. He doesn't exist. Can you ask the tooth fairy to reveal her existence to you? Maybe do a little miracle or something? Yeah, you can ask. <laughs> but will she do it? No, because she doesn't exist. You can ask for a unicorn to come out of the sky and poop an ice cream cone in your hand. But will he do it? No, because he doesn't exist. If you ask God to appear before you and confirm all the things that's said that he does, you can definitely ask that. But will he do it? No, because he's too busy or there's other things at play or he doesn't play these games or any other extraordinary excuse you can think of. Now, let me explain something to you. There's a term. I don't know if I'm saying this exactly right, but I believe it goes usually the least extraordinary option is probably the option. You know what I'm saying? If you have to find some extraordinary reason as to why something is, probably not the right answer. For example, if I were to go outside one day and my friend came up to me and said, hey, you know Dave, right? I'm like, yeah, Dave, that's my best friend of all. I love that guy, what about him? Well, he humps sheep. He does what? He humps sheep, bro. Well, first off, I'm not gonna let you say mean things about my friend. That's not cool. Dave is my very, very best friend. How dare you say such mean things about him? Well, I'm not saying mean things about him. I'm simply explaining to you that your boy likes to hump sheep. So, with that said, you walk off, you storm off, how dare you, you know? And you immediately go over to Dave's house. You knock on the door, do, do, do. Dave, open the door, quick. I gotta tell you what this jerk said about you. So Dave opened up the door and the first thing that you notice is that it smells like sheep booty as soon as you walk through the door. You're like, oh my God, why does it smell like sheep booty up in here? And Dave is like, well, bro, I don't know. And then you look at Dave and his pants is wrapped around his ankles. Dave, what? Pull up your pants, bro, what's going on around here? Uh, I, I don't know, don't worry about it though. And then you look over in the corner and you say, Dave, bro, is that a sheep standing next to your closet with the words hump here spray painted on his back? And Dave's like, you know what, bro? I know how this look. I know how it look. Somebody probably done told you that I hump sheep. You come over here, smell like sheep booty, and you find a sheep, and you see me with my pants down, and the words hump here on the sheep. But I'm asking you to trust me and have faith in me. I don't hump sheeps, brother. <laughs> now, with all that evidence, it should be easy to conclude that your boy Dave is a, is a vicious sheep humper. <laughs> but if you're not living in reality, and if you would not want to accept that, you don't want to accept that you're friends with somebody who does something like that. You don't want to accept it inside yourself that you're a part of something that's crazy. You will ignore all of that and say, you know what? I take your word for it. Even though the evidence mounted against you is very high and very substantial, <laughs> I'm going to take your word that you're not doing what I look and see and sounds and smells like you're doing. Okay? I'm just gonna say, okay, maybe it smelled like sheep booty up in here because there's a stinking sheep up in here. Maybe your pants are down because it's kinda hot, you know? Sometimes I need to let your nuts get some air, you know? And maybe that guy just don't like you and he just wanted to say some mean stuff about you. And then coincidentally, you just happen to have a sheep with the words hump me spray painted on the back of it. It's just all, just one big crazy coincidence because that's kind of how faith works. Now, I'm not, I don't have anything wrong with anybody who has faith. You know what I'm saying? 
but at the same exact time, if you have faith in something, just know that that faith can be manipulated. It can be used in the wrong way. You know how you can use a knife to prepare your food or, you know, stab somebody? Like either way, you can you can use a knife for multiple things. It can be used for good, it can be used for evil. It pretty much comes down to the person that's wielding it, you know? Faith is the same way. You can have faith and you can live your life in a way in which, you know, it, it makes you good and happy. But you can also have faith and try to live your life according to what some other people are telling you your faith demands. Because the thing about faith is, it's the perfect tool to use to cover up a lie. Perfect tool. There's nothing more efficient than faith in covering up a lie. Just think about it. What is faith exactly? According to the Bible, it's uh, a belief in something though evidence for that thing is not there, not seen. You know what I'm saying? That's what faith is. And the Jehovah Witnesses go a little bit further. They have faith even though they have evidence <laughs> contradicting their faith. And they still choose to believe it. And that's why I say your faith can be used against you. Because according to their faith and what they believe, they believe they're building these kingdom halls because God told them to. They believe they're giving all these billions of dollars in donation to the governor body because that's what God wants them to do. Their faith is robbing them blind of their time, of their money, of their <laughs> energy and effort and family. And in some cases, their very lives, their very lives. And it's used to bring in more people to be, con to be taken advantage of, pretty much. So yeah, that's my problem with faith. Because in the wrong hands, it can be used against you. Me, personally, I don't really want you to believe in anything you don't have evidence for. And that's why I have a problem with other events and stuff like that, you know? Like, the, I, I admit I don't know all that much about evolution, you know what I'm saying? But I do know, as far as science, if it can't be duplicated or replicated, it's not good science. And since the Big Bang Theory took place over apparently millions and millions of years, you can't duplicate millions and millions of years. So it's at most a theory. And theories can be right or theories can be wrong, you know? That's just kind of how theories work. Now, I mean, there's a lot of evidence out there. And once again, I'm not the most educated in the subject of the Big Bang Theory and evolution and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm not willing to say, no, it's not true, you know, 100%. I'm just, I'm, I'm open to it. As you should be everything. I'm open to it, and if I need to do some research on it, I'll do research on it. But the bigger point is that you can't have blind faith in anything. I would highly advise against that. Because in life, as I said before, usually the most simple answer is the easiest. If Santa Claus can't show himself because he don't exist, and a tooth fairy, and a tooth fairy can't show herself because she don't exist, and a freaking unicorn can't come down and poop ice cream in your hand because it doesn't exist, maybe God doesn't show himself because he doesn't exist. I mean, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. But I think I'm right. <laughs> because, once again, my biggest thing, my the biggest thing, if, if you read the Bible, it says, Jehovah's a very jealous God. He doesn't allow people to be, to take his spotlight, you know? He's the one you're supposed to worship. He's the one you're supposed to uh, model yourself after. You know what I'm saying? Like, He's the, he's the man. <laughs> so for these eight men in Warwick to take him out and replace him with themselves, this is a destroyable offense in God's eye, according to the Bible. So if God's not destroying them, God's not showing himself, God's not 
verbally answering prayers. God's not giving you any sign that he exists. The simple option is maybe because he don't exist. Like I said, I'm willing to be open-minded about anything. You've got evidence to the contrary. I'm more than willing to hear it. Let me know in the comment section. I read my comments. So, yeah, if you have evidence of God's existence, please don't say, <laughs> you're probably going to send me some crazy paragraph. I'd rather you make a video and then I'll go check out your video. <laughs> because, oh my God, y'all be writing me some comments sometimes. It'd be like four pages long. But, I digress. Let me know in the comments why you believe God exists, and I'll check it out, all right? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. I hope y'all having a great Wednesday. Holla at your guala. Deuces.